So yesterday I went to a community outreach to continue the campaign for justice or else. Now I was invited to this by a man named Sharif shout out to brother Sharif and he connected me with brother Jesse Muhammad. And once I spoke with him about coming out and hearing what they had to do uh, to further get out the message, I definitely wanted to be a part of that and uh, document some of that. So what they did, they met at the community center and got their uh, assignments and they went out to different parts of the city. Now, I want some of you to look at the footage what we recorded. Now, this is a thing. It's one thing to talk about things and saying what we should do in the community, but it's another thing when you actually getting out in the community and doing things because it can actually make at least what I do a little bit more solidified because how do I really know what's going on in the community unless I'm out there in it? Well, let me go roll the clips. Yeah, we actually we do. We can do that. We actually we actually do. Yeah, we are seven shows. Yes, sir. Sixteen. But we don't have any out here with us. But, but let me give you my number, here, brother. I would love for you. Yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah, we need El Shabak, man. We is out. El Shabak. Yeah. What's going on, Black? Well, look, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you some more of these, man. How you man. doing, sir? How you doing, bro? Share these. All right. Share these there, brother, all right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, want, we want you to take these and share these, man, because we have to redistribute the people, right? Yeah, and all that's going on in our community. I heard it was shooting over here yesterday. Yeah, I just killed him one right there in Cullen Park. You can see right there in Cullen Park. We're going to go to Cullen Park as well. Yeah, see, because I'll, I'll stay right yeah, here. Yeah, 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 yeah. How about, would y'all, if I say to you all, how about you all join the 10,000 field as me? Mr. Farquhar is asking you, Mr. Farquhar. Yes, sir. He's asking for ten thousand men and women to stand between the guns of our. People. Now that's real talk. Yeah, that's real. Right. Right. Because if I'm willing to sacrifice my life, because we love our people, we got our babies out here, we have our children out here. Right, because it's about saving our community. Saving our, saving the youth right, too, saving our youth, saving Excuse our community, because if we don't do it, who gonna do it? Nobody, Nobody, gonna, Nobody do it, gonna do it. So we calling on you, dear brothers. So there's an app I want you to download called justiceofelf.com. Mm -hmm. Right now my phone, uh, I can see it, man. I can see it. Incoming call. Justice or else. Justice or else. And I want y'all to register for the 10,000 view this week. That's an app, right? It's an app, right. It's an app. Justice or else .com. Push is us spending money with one another. Yeah, yes. So if you can encourage okay. that and push that during this season as well as encourage people. Yeah, mm -hmm. don't spend the money on foolishness, you know? Talk to your children. Tell them what it's really about. Mm -hmm. Be very important. Oh, yes. They, they understand. They, uh, right now at the moment, I'm teaching them about investing. I mean, so I bought silver and uh, oh, you need to be with us. silver bullions <laughs> and stuff like that. So they understand about investing and they are also getting into the uh, forex trading market. That's what I'm doing also. So that's what I'm working on my family now, right now, uh, somewhere around December. Once uh, I get the stuff, the things together, I'm going to show my family about creating wealth in our family for generations on and teach them a way to get out of poverty. That's wonderful. So, but you know what? We could really, really use you in our local I, I wish I could, me. but I, my <laughs> time is so busy. I'm so focused on this. And then we have stuff happening here at these apartments that are uh, about the mold and stuff dude, from the last uh, flood we had. Yes. And we, I'm just coming back from the hospital with acute bronchitis and my mom. So well, I'm so busy with that. But I, I thank you. When you get a chance, go online. Check yes, ma'am. Yes, okay. ma'am. You have to spend money this Christmas. If you feel like you must, then spend it with your own. And don't do the big corporations you can. <laughs> so, did you get a plan? Go ahead and get this. This is so you can be reminded and let you Come again to my sister. Yes, and let you know. Ain't no Give me one, baby. I'm gonna see that. They know that. Oh, good. Yeah, they are. They are. And here's the wristband. Okay, this is, yeah, this is nice. Man, I'm gonna give this to my sister. Okay. This is not my first time hearing about that. And then that's on the back. What you're looking at now is the peace walk. It's gonna be next oh, yeah, Saturday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The police walk. No. <laughs> I'm just <wait. laughs> oh, yes, Thank you, baby. Yes, yes tonight. Yeah. So let's just let people know. Because we just had the Million Man March in October. 
and there's a lot of people who came without having media, major media. Right, because there's like, almost a million people that came anyway. Like, so yeah, this little as far as time, he's heading mm -hmm. there. So, hmm. Yep, absolutely. My sister gonna like this. Absolutely. What's your sister's name? Charlene. Charlene. All right. Well, right, sister Charlene. That is great. That is great. That is great. We want you to come outside, bring the children outside. Okay. And everybody gonna be safe there. Okay, okay, well, I hope so. Yes, ma'am. Okay, because I don't know why they're having all this violence around here, you know? I don't know what's going on around here. I don't generally come out unless I go grocery shopping or something right, like that. Yes, ma'am. I don't come right out there, baby. Then that's unfortunate because you should be able to. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, then. Well, I'm looking forward bless to you, it. Bless you. What's your name? Uh, Miss West. Miss West? Uh -huh. Things, man. You know, this is one of the most violent areas that's in the whole country. So next week, we're having our fourth Stop the Violence Peace Walk, man. Where we're saying we can complain when white folks killing us, but we got to stop killing one another. So we hopefully that you can come out next Saturday and invite your homeboys to come out. And then the other side, you good? Now you heard of, of course, Eric Garner got killed, Mike Brown, Tamir Rice, all that. So when we call them for this year, because they won't stop killing us and won't give us justice, we call them for a boycott. We tell the people don't spend no money on Black Friday, don't spend no money on Cyber Monday, don't spend no money on Christmas, because that's the only thing they respond to. You saw what just happened with the University of Missouri black football players? Yeah, man. See, that brother, he had a hunger strike, they did all that. But as soon as the football players said they wouldn't play, what happened? White folks say, wait a minute, that's our money. Yeah, that's the money. And see, that's the money. See, that's what they respond to, man. So all that marching, protesting is good, but they respond to the economic. You like, you play sports too, you know about that, right? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, exactly. But it's us killing ourselves, man. We gotta, you know, we start with us, though. Exactly, and that's why we doing this. We said, see, that's the crop. No more bloodshed. We ain't talking to the cops. We talking to one another, man. Cause we gotta stop killing each other. And then we boycott with our money. And then you know what we do? We save it. Then we start supporting our own. Mm -hmm. Cause too long we've been taught that somebody else's ice is colder. We got these Asians, got all these shops in our neighborhood. We gotta start supporting our own black business and building our own up. So hopefully you'll be down with that boycott. So tell your family, I'll give you extra yeah, fries. Yeah. And just tell them that this year we ain't voting for Santa. We vote for Jesus. Say, man, kick right. Santa to the curb, man. Right. All right, brother. All right, Take man. care, black, black man. man. Now, many of you heard in the video, they was talking about doing the boycott from uh, Black Friday all the way through Christmas. And it's something that I can support because we do need to keep our dollars in our pockets because the only way someone listens to black people, unless they cannot get the money out of black people, look at the Mizzou situation. The only reason the president stepped down is because they was going to lose a million dollars because of those black players. Well, we need to recognize, as I stated in that video, that our dollar is the power that we have to leverage what we want. And if we keep our money in our pocket, don't give it to these corporations who don't care nothing about us at all, who's just trying to screw us every chance they get, who have lobbyists in Congress fighting for what they want, getting their corporate welfare, but then the politicians want to complain when poor people get welfare, then we need to make them lose money a little bit and keep our money in our pocket. And this is what we should do. Cause you know what? Don't let these people fool you and say, Oh, but this old time of year, I can get a deal. No, it's not the only time of year you can get a deal. They have new year sales right around the corner. Every holiday, there's some sort of sale. So stop allowing these people to fool you now they will say well but my kids want toys my kids let me tell you something about them toys them kids will get them toys and throw them right on the side the next week all them that slaving you did for nothing and if you want to give a child a toy that's fine give them a child the, the, a toy all year long if you want to that's fine just don't let these people try to tell you when it's appropriate for you to give things to your children that's all but we just need to send a wake up call within the black community and hold our money in our pocket like Dr. King showed us to do to get the things that we are asking for. But if you could join the boycott, that would be a great thing. Like as it, when it comes to me, I'm definitely on board with a boycott. But before this even came up, we were discussing about helping uh, some, you know, family this holiday season because we could spend money all year long on other things. It's about reaching out to other people who need help, not sitting up here and just worrying about yourself and spending money on all everything else. Um, like they were saying in the video, up with Jesus, down with Santa, because Santa ain't about nothing. No, he's a, a figment of imagination. And a lot of people say that they follow Jesus and Jesus will want you to help others. 
and be a servant to all. So that's what we should do. Anyway, see you next time.